Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Games Are Hard. I am Stephen Riley, joined by the best beard in the business, Lucas Peters. It's actually a beard now. On his left, we have Roberto Javier Suarez El Tigre. Say hi to your adoring public, Robert. Hello. There we go. So, the Nintendo Switch. It's real. It's confirmed. What was your favorite part of that announcement? The Splatoon. The Splatoon. And Specifically. Partic- particularly, the eSports. The, the eSports. <sighs> now, Polygon, a notable online video game publication, has come up with an article that we're going to show you right here, stating that they don't believe Splatoon is a good fit for eSports. Now, Robert, Lucas, you've read this article. Yeah, you yes. disagree with this article. You two for are known, known champions of Splatoon as an eSport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. so. How do you respond to the criticisms that Splatoon is not as fun to watch? Because, well, we'll summarize the article for the people and then tell them why you disagree. Well, it says that... Um, are we it, like, just going into specifics here? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, just summarize it. So, I mean, uh, it talks about how um, some of the most popular um, esports out there have like this like element of building up to like your role and and like this, this is like a- dynamic growth within a match per match right where like like in league of legends you're building up your levels and your items and stuff in counter strike you're building up your cash that you could use to buy the weapons and like there's that sort of thing and it makes a comparison of how um splatoon like you you go in with the set loadout with set stats with set everything there's no changing nothing this is the only argument that i i somewhat agree with but how do you respond to Halo Championships, Call of Duty Championships? That's why I'm asked. That's that's the thing. That's like, sure, that's that's a valid argument. But there's so many other games that don't have it, and still, I I don't know. I don't know how popular they are to watch. Um, Call of Duty is a million dollar championship, so so that made it. Um, I mean, and then also like the spectator options. Like it has to be fun to watch as a spectator sport, which. Yeah. I mean, I can I can assure you that like MOBAs like League of Legends and Dota like those are like very entertaining to watch. Yeah. And I don't I don't see for some. Yeah. For, for, for most actually. For for most. Not myself. Not, not yourself. <laughs> like for Overwatch, like, you, like. Oh yeah, I was watching Overwatch Championship. So yeah. Yes. And I, it was the, the first esport I actually got into. I was watching Russia versus the U.S. a couple days ago. Uh, actually, it would be Monday, so the thirty first of October, and it was really entertaining. I really liked. The commentating, I liked how they switched between characters, and they also had probably some custom camera where, like, they had a third-person view of the map, and they were looking like at people that, going. Like yeah, that's yeah. The and I'd camera. say that for this whole article, all its things are you can point to Overwatch. Like Splatoon and Overwatch, as far as being an esport, are very, very similar. Aside from the fact that you can actually switch heroes mid-match, like that's the yeah, that's like the that's the changing of once, strategies. So once you picked your Splatoon loadout, that's it for the match. That's it for the match yeah. for the for the for like. So there's no personally... there's no changing things up no. if you see the other team doing something. I personally like that though. I personally like you know seeing well this is this is the team that they're going out. We're gonna, you'll see how the can you see up what they've this. picked before you start? Yeah, at the start of the match, you see your but team. But before you pick. Your weapons. Your weapons. Oh, no. No, no. No, they both... It's both... That's both so, see, that's where I could see that if these two professional teams for a Splatoon match pick drastically different strategies, then it's it, you can't that's, adapt. That's the interesting part. That you can't adapt, and that's what part of what grabs people, is you adapt to what the other team is doing, and you change well, to... Well, okay, Splatoon matches are, like, five minutes long maximum, Appro- right? Approximately, yeah. So... When a team goes up against each other, I see them playing maybe seven games. Best of seven? Best of seven, maybe best of nine, right? Um, and so you'd see there, like, people would get well known, like, oh, this guy is really good with the Hydra Splatling, right? And so then, you know, okay, well, to counter the Hydra Splatling, we need, you know, the, the Splushomatic or whatever. Whatever you need to counter the... That doesn't sound like a real thing. Is that a real thing? That's a thing. Oh, my goodness. That's a thing. Those are weapons. Yeah. So, so as, the, as people weapons. get notoriety in the Splatoon esports scene um, going up against each other, that's where it could get really surprising where someone who's used to using the Gatling pulls out something else and you're like, oh, shoot, we got to adapt. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I'm saying, like, you might come up and say, okay, these are our best weapons, but we know that they're going to have this weapon for sure, so we got to have someone play this weapon. And then you play a match and you see what the, the different uh, teams use and say, okay, well, now we know that this one's really powerful. We'll adapt again on the next match. We'll, um, and I don't, I don't know how long is an Overwatch match. Like the competitive ones, like ten, fifteen. No, specifically. Well, the um the professional ones I think were first to three. 
that makes for capture. Yeah. Did it use the same setup as ranked matches? Uh, I believe so. Okay, so in like around half an hour, give or take. Yeah, I think so. Hour. Yeah. So that's like switching. And especially like six if, times per match. Have did they switch? Uh, did most people switch like more than six times per like match? heroes? They switch their sometimes own. they oh, yeah. switch during a game, but they usually only switch in between games. Exactly, and so that's what Splatoon would do. I, I'm thinking about it now, and like I, I realized that like Call of Duty and Halo aren't like better, like aren't the best comparisons because like you can still switch loadouts mid. Yeah, yeah, you right? can have nine loadouts in Call of Duty, switch them on the go. Yeah, so like that doesn't that's not really the best comparison because no. like if you're falling behind, you can just switch to like your your like defense, but like defense loadout or something like yeah. that. Like that doesn't really work. I think the best comparison for an esports would probably be. Uh, suit Smash Brothers, because you go in with your set characters. That's it. Like you're. That's it for that match. Like you, there's no like switching or anything. Yeah. And, and so I mean, that that's like that. That's like a pretty popular sport. I mean, I mean that's just all fighting games in general. It's big at Evo. Oh yeah, yeah. E, like Smash, Smash, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, um, Marvel versus Capcom. Those fighting games. Like you go in with your set characters. And that's it for your that match. Or at least for that best of... And they do best two of threes, too. Yeah, they do best two of threes. So, like, you could still switch in between matches. But no one does. In, in Splatoon, or, like... In, in Smash, no one does. I mean, unless uh, it's, yeah, like... They, I've seen it before. Unless it's, like, like like character elimination. If that's a thing that yeah, they do. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the... I've seen, no, I've seen it that where someone got countered. So, basically, I want to pull out yeah. some things in this article. Now, one thing is... They, they mentioned... The one thing that would be necessary for Splatoon is a spectator mode. And, obviously... If it's on the Switch, I think it's already been confirmed that it's not, uh, the Wii game is not compatible with, um, or the Wii U game is not compatible with the Switch. So it's going to okay. either be an enhanced port, is what they said, or a totally new game. It's, In I, which I'm, case... I'm hoping for a totally new game. If, if it's competitive, they've got to add a spectator mode. Because right now, yeah, watching each screen separately, it's no good. You want to see an overhead view. So I just want you to watch this section again, where we have two esports teams... Um, clearly, like doing some pre-game planning, and they got their whiteboards. And they should have been doing this months ago. I don't know what they're doing. Like right, before, what they're doing right before, like, the, right match? before the match. I don't also, know why like in the big empty room, and they come out here, and there's yeah. a girl on an esports team. I've never seen that before in my entire life. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Esports is just a giant unfortunately sausage true. fest. Unfortunately, actually, no. There was there was a female League of Legends player. What happened? They have they have female League of uh, Legends. Teams. Well, no, but they're on, on like. I don't, I don't know. Well, so anyway, we see game. Nintendo is pushing really hard that they want Splatoon second or Splatoon two <laughs> eh, Splatoon. to be <laughs> any sports title, and this is the direction they're taking. They said in lieu of VR, and that's the market they're gonna try and push into. Another interesting thing I just want to point out is, particularly with Switch, is that in Splatoon you have you build your weapons, right? So your weapon has like a main attribute that everyone or uh, your load like your your clothing and your shoes and your hat. They have a, a main uh, attribute that everyone with that exact same clothing piece will have. But then you get uh, up to three additional like minor stats, and uh, those stats are variable depending on uh, like it's, it's randomly chosen for you. So by everyone bringing their own console in, slotting it in, you'll have all your own uh, loadouts uh, prepared. And so I feel like that's one interesting thing. Granted, all this information that we're getting is is like based on the first game. So like you never know. Like they yeah, if, yeah. if they, they were, if they were pushing for the esports, they could totally change. Like like if you could switch loadouts mid match, like bring three loadouts with you and like switch in between. Yeah, Although yeah. I don't know how that would work too well. In, in, I don't know. I, I I I personally I'd like to see you know both teams set loadout, see how they work around the loadout they have, see how they change their strategies mid match. Not change their loadouts mid match, change their strategies. With, yeah, with, with one particular with, with the with, same with, yeah weapon. because limitations I feel are what makes it interesting yeah like I, I, I like it as it is as, yeah. as an esport like I mean I don't personally watch it I don't know who streams it or what but I would I would watch it if I if I knew some like, streams I remember I was in a one Splatoon match where by chance obviously online you're all randomly yeah. uh, ranked together by chance the whole enemy team had all snipers right and so normally a sniper's job is not to ink the map but because they all had snipers, I saw like two of them on my map. Lines were just coming down on the screen because they had to switch up how they were playing, and, and that was interesting. That match was one of the most interesting matches I've ever played. Is when there's two guards basically sniping at us, and the rest were painting the map with snipers, which is really really slow. So another thing I want to pull out here. 
So they say that Splatoon doesn't provide the same opportunities for drama to play out. Um, there's a lack of growth over the course of a match, and teams in, a, in at a certain level of strength due to the clothing, weapons, or abilities they have equipped, that match begins. Have you guys, been when you've been playing Splatoon, encountered really dramatic matches where, like in League of Legends, one bad play brings everything tumbling down for the other team, and you push in and clinch it in the little ending? I mean, I haven't noticed that too much with the ranked modes. I, I mean, yeah, I in 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 the regular turf where I feel, I feel like it all comes down to like the last thirty seconds or which, so. Okay, obvi- I think turf war is basically not going to be. The yeah, no. What do you think they would use? Use? What type of mode would they play Splatoon in a in a esports league? Any of the ranks are decent. Yeah. The Any most interesting, the most interesting, I'd say, is Rainmaker. Um, Rainmaker, because it's yeah. describe Rainmaker for someone who's not familiar. Right. Okay, so there's this big gun. Think of it like capture the flag. Yeah, it, it's it's like capture the flag, but the flag is a gun. So when you capture it, uh, you get this gun that you can use. But you normally you have a lot of maneuverability. Splatoon, you can jump to any one of your teammates. When you're holding that gun, you all you can do is walk and swim. And so and you also your position is revealed on the map for all the enemy teams. So. They're trying to kill you, so you drop the gun, and then it's... Like hot potato. And whoever holds it the longest wins, or the gun just no, does a bigger no, spray. No, no, no. Uh, there's a checkpoint like at the enemy base, and you got to bring it to their the, base. The gun then... shows up in the center of the map, and all the teams at the rush grab the gun first and oh, so make a mad dash. Yeah, capture the flag. Yeah, oh, okay. the flag. Yeah. Except bring, instead of bringing it to your base, you bring it to their base. Yeah. Yes, you bring it to their base. Oh, so that, that makes it harder, because they're all spawning there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you would see them playing it. You I don't mean, think it would splat be... zones is also possible. I, I, or is it deathmatch or what splat zones? Yeah, what splat zones? It's pretty much um, it's, king, okay. it's king of the hill, pretty much. Oh, okay. Except with multi, like in some you're, maps, you're trying to you're points. trying to keep one specific area inked, so everyone's yeah. in the same area, trying to keep it their color. Uh, yeah. I think you, tower control would be. Uh, I don't I see mean, tower control. I really don't. I feel like that one has like a lot more like intense like drama because like it's at the very end. Like if you're getting real close to that very final end point, you you, you get them all. You, you mean, sit yeah, you sit they, inside they the tower all, and like you push it back. Have, right? They all have. They all have their own sets of drama, right? Yeah, I could see. I could actually see if it actual Splatoon, yeah, Splatoon tournament. If it's like best of whatever, your first match is uh, Splat Zone, second match is Tower Control, third match is. You know, and you keep going, rotating through the different types mm-hmm. of modes. I could see that because I feel like there's no one particular mode that suits itself in for competitive play more than the other. Um, yeah. a, a good rotation between the modes during, and then it's presumably strange. changing up loadouts in between those modes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. So um, another point I want to bring out here is they say that Splatoon suffers from having uh, neutral objectives being attacked by both teams in every game mode. This is different to. League of Legends and Dota in that yeah. regard. Well, you it's, mean that it's, this, it's that symmetrical? I don't, I don't think I mean? don't think it is because I'm I'm just a little confused about this part here. It says Splatoon suffers because like by having neutral objectives being attacked by both teams. I the neutral objective being the, the floor, right? Yeah, like it's like in in Rainmaker would be the the gun you going for the gun. Yeah. In tower control, it's the tower. But like in in something like Overwatch, it's one team's either defending or pushing the cart. No, both teams are not pushing. Two different See, or, but what is... they're doing, what the Overwatch World Championships was doing, was controlling yeah. the point. Ca- what's the difference? Point. What's yeah. the difference between control point and trying to cover the most of the map in Splatoon? Nothing. This is why like, I think this article. That's... I don't understand this article at all because you hear they, that. They... Um, you hear that, Ryan Gilliam? Gil- Gilliam. They say like Overwatch gets a pass, but well, he, he, older... he's saying in this article that Overwatch has a very different characters that do very different things and that's what makes it more interesting and engaging is you can combine ultimates mm-hmm. you can store your ultimates to create yeah. really good plays yeah. that I clinch mean, something in the last couple I of mean, minutes I, I, I think he just doesn't have a lot of experience with splatoon the then. same oh, parallels oh the same parallels could be drawn with with splatoon because like each each lo- weapon loadout has its own special like, so okay. First of all, basically, what are you doing in Overwatch? Every character has some sort of firing weapon or a melee attack, correct? That's basically yeah. what every character is Plus, each uh, character has one or two abilities that they can use at, is, like, on okay. a cooldown. Yeah, but I'm just there, saying, there's basic. a right trigger and a left trigger because I'm not playing console. But there's like a left mouse and a right mouse. And so, I don't know. For the most part, you're what you're mainly doing. The main thing you're doing is either shooting a gun or using a melee weapon, right? Or healing, or okay, or, or building healing, turrets. building turrets. Tur- um, okay, turrets. 
Well, like, okay, the building turrets doesn't really count because, like, that's more of a skill thing. That's true. No, but is that the main thing you do as that character? Yes. Okay, so the main thing, so the main things you're doing is four different things, all right? So, in Splatoon, it's, okay, we'll, we'll Shielding, it. shielding. Yeah, shield. yeah shielding. That's, that's, like, the main thing. Yeah, that's Reinhardt's that, the shield. Like, like his alt, okay. his alt fire is a I giant mean, shield. In Splatoon, obviously, all these things are there. The focus is always on your primary weapon, though, which, for the most part, is either uh, shooting... Uh, or Shooting, um, sniping, sniping, rolling, or, or slot. Well, slot. nobody rolls. They just they just paint. <laughs> they, they 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 splash. Yeah, you know? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I I get. I I. There might be a bit more variety in some of these other games, but there's not much. Yeah, I mean, you can still combine the, the yeah. There's, there's too. definitely combos with. Like airstrike and, or even like bubbler at the same time. Like well, like bubbler and uh, like there there are like. I don't know about the meta personally, but like there, there clearly seems to be like support roles and like attack yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Like th there are those kinds of the roles. big thing I pull from this Splatoon just isn't built to offer that one amazing moment, that one thing that people watch on YouTube the next day and gets millions of hits. That one moment that like they won the match because of this ten these ten there, seconds. There definitely is. There, there definitely yeah, is. Definitely. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, like <laughs> like I'm trying. Okay, to, okay. okay. Getting I, okay. One one thing I've done, I got a triple kill with a burst bomb. So you That's throw this. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucas knows what I'm talking yeah, about. Okay. So burst That's bomb, it hits on impact, but you need to like hit them three times with the burst bomb for it to actually kill them. So I don't know why they were damaged. They're damaged for some reason, and so I, you know, I throw it over whatever a crate or whatever, hits three people. They all splat, and I mean that was on. Uh, Tier four, so it didn't actually matter too much. But like, if that was in tower control, that would have got us. Oh like, my god, twenty points. Yeah, if they're okay. So if they're in sitting in the tower, like in their ink, sitting on the tower, and like really close to the base, all he needs like a good airstrike or something. It wipes like the whole team that's sitting on the tower. Boom, you get on the tower and then just hope to god you defend, right? Like that's like that could be the one thing that push that wins you the game. Or, or actually, actually, another thing on tower mode. Uh, some some people are really good at. There's like a. a uh, pillar in the middle of the tower. Mm -hmm. Some people are really good at hiding behind that yeah. pillar from when paint is shooting at them from different angles, and they just like dodge like. And it's it's amazing plays like you can see people just dodging around that pillar. I have I have two more things that not aren't necessarily from the article, just something I've thought of. Hmm. Um, one, a very very cartoony art style that you don't see a lot in what's described as like hardcore League games. League of Legends what, is pretty cool. Like, yeah. But if you put League of Legends next to Splatoon, like there's characters in League of Legends that are obviously mature and very not aimed at kids, you know? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I think uh, what I see from like the big esports is that level of maturity in the content, you know? Like Dota. I mean, Smash Bros. is yeah. a big esport. Smash Bros. isn't nearly as big as League of Legends or Dota. No, no, I, 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 okay, I definitely don't think Splatoon. Is I don't think become, Splatoon's trying no. to compete with League of Legends, but I'm just no. saying there's something to be said about. Well, like, I mean, they're competing, but I don't think they're expecting to be as big as League of Legends. Yes, yeah. I think they expect to be slightly larger than Smash Bros. Slightly like, larger. As big as Smash, Smash Bros. Is pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, but I th I feel like but Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. has a history that yeah. Splatoon can't See, they, rely on. This is a team though, and people. I okay, feel okay. This brings me to my next yeah, point. Yeah. Splatoon does not have online voice chat. How do people connect? Do they develop those teams? They get to practice with each other. They get to cultivate that teamwork. Well, then that's it, another thing that could be changed with the Switch. But also, if you're a competitive team, you should be practicing. You already the have same some sort area. of communication. So there's beforehand. six people with six monitors four. and one four people with four monitors in one room, and that's yeah. how you practice. That's just not. That's not um, like reasonable for some people who have their, for some their people, different but for locations. People who but, are but for like really esports to really grow, you need that communication, right? Yeah. But yeah. to build a team and to practice. How many how many times have you used the in-game voice chat for Overwatch when you're playing ranked? Ranked? Yeah. Most times, like you're actually communicating. I'm actually communicating. With you're my actually team. communicating. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I don't use that at all. I'm like, hey, I'm Junkrat. Fuck you. I'm gonna do my own thing. I just read. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm on PC, but like, I read the chat and like, okay, if you guys are taking that, I'll take this role. All right, fine. I'll the thing about so, yeah, consoles, the other people thing don't have is, a lot of headsets, yeah, especially yeah. on PlayStation. It doesn't compact with one. Well, actually, it's got that little one bit ear, but but no one uses it. I don't know, but I'm sure the competitive Overwatch scene on console. Is communicating the people who play every day, yeah. the people who want to get good and rank up. Yeah, but then are like, communicating. 
Well, then if you're like... And they're the ones who are going to make those teams, you know? If you're you playing, can't do that with Splatoon. If you're playing constantly uh, every day trying to get better, like, you're already... Like, you're probably in the... But well the, hu- best oh, the huge the part of Overwatch you need a, is building that team. You need team. a team to start, right? To, to start going competitive, right? Yeah. So, once you have a team, you'll Skype or whatever, like... You're gonna you're gonna be practicing. I'm just saying Nintendo's made it hard with the way they've I, set up. Maybe slightly. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I'm really not. I'm, a huge it's not gonna deal. stop it. But I'm just saying that's a big, not a big reason, but like a detractor from Splatoon becoming. Yeah, maybe competitive. Mm, maybe you just find them on Miiverse. There's no voice chat. There's no, no, no. parties. There's it's, there's parties. There's parties. Yeah, there's parties. There's yeah. parties. Okay. Yeah, you just add them to your friends list, and then oh, no, then, actually, no. There's actually actually we played it. Ranked. Yeah, yeah. There's ranked, but like there's you had to be squad battle. You had to be in a friend. You had to be on well, the friends list friends. Yeah, to add them to I mean, a party. That's, we're we're that's going on here. Issue. Last thing, last thing. What does Splatoon two have to do to become a successful esports game? Uh, uh, listen to the community. Like like if if the community is clearly like no, don't do this, then the developers have to like okay, we'll we'll, we'll try it and out. Nintendo's great at just like yeah, changing that's, on the that's fly. Like, 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 like oh, you didn't like this, we won't do it again for five more like games. Like if they can provide a like a proper justification do you for feel, why they do, do the, you the re- things. Do you Lucas? Do you reasonably think Nintendo? No, w- of, no course of course not. not so. No, but it's a man can dream, right? I, like, that's that's not what, okay. People don't know what they want. No, that's true. But if you that's look true. at if you look at League of Legends from before the community became as big and vocal as they were, to now that as they are, that has helped shape it to become as successful as it is. Arguably, mm, I, think, I don't think it's I, the community that helped it. I think I, it's more of the competitive community. I think, yeah. No, okay, like, the community advertised it. I don't think the community helped develop the game. When mm. they were making Smash Four, did they go around all the professional melee players and be like, "What do you want from a Smash 4? Is that something they did? I don't know. They could, they have. could have. I don't know, maybe. They could have. <laughs> I sort of doubt it. They so wanted like, to make it like in between Brawl and Melee, like in terms of speed. So, I mean. so I guess they need to listen to their community and change the game. Like if if I they make if they make a change that's like large enough and like the community rejects it, they need to be able to be like, okay, we we, we messed up. We can we can retract this back. Try something different. And we both, we all that's recognize not, that's, that's, not, not, that's not how Nintendo That's operates. not happening for a long while. I, mean, I don't think even that says, I don't, I mean, I don't think. They're under new management, games. so it's, it's possible. That's Robert, what does Splatoon 2 need to do for you to become successful at esports? Or is it fine right as it is? I think. Just, just put it out there again. The, different guns, different, better okay, looking. The one thing, the Switch fixes the biggest issue I had with it. Which is what? Which is the fact that I have my custom loadouts and... Like, I work towards those. How would that, like, if I sit down at some, like, tournament console, how would, I mean, I guess you could bring it. Do you reasonably bring... see four people on stage all holding their switches up, looking around, playing the game? Yes, I do. Um, although, I'm a bit worried that it doesn't have gyro controls because they all were sitting down. Okay, f- to be fair, people that use gyro controls usually sit down. I stand up and I place between to full, you know, 180 degree you don't need, motion that's why, control. That's why they still let you use the right sticks. I know, so that but, you no, can... but that's quicker. It's way quicker to just like... Sh- and... and Why not both? <laughs> well, both. I, if you want to do a 360, then you, then you get, you do both. You know, 360. All right, no so we need gyro. We need like, gyro sensor in the switch, okay, and we then, need to listen. The to The problem community. with that is that, like, you're holding the actual console in your hand. How would, like how will it be in no, the no, face? How would it? How would it? Oh, how would okay, it? How would it be streaming? The gyro sensor thing. Like the, the actual the, the little click thing. Not the, the click the thing. The, the, new pro, the new pro controller. The, the new the, pro controller. The, the, no, that's it's not. That's not gonna have no way. No, no PS4 has gyro in it. No, like I'm thinking. I think yeah, it, does. I it, th- does. it does. It definitely does. Yeah, because yeah. it yeah it does. PS4 does have gyro. Yeah, so the same thing. I don't think they do that, but I think no they put it in the in their Joy-Con controllers. I think they, yeah, like but nobody's, gyro. nobody's gonna play the well. You don't know might. that people might. You know, but. Yeah, they might. Like we don't. We can't like say like, you know. I you know I I agree with you, Stephen. That um it would I don't think it's a necess- necessary thing, but it would help it if it had uh, voice chat, in game. But I mean. Like the and they and they they are pushing maybe. into a market that's already yeah pretty you know, dense. I don't know. Like this has never been done before. But a way they could sort of get it's around, never been done before. No, in this, I'm, I'm, I'm no. I'm, t- I'm explaining this new this, this idea I have. <laughs> okay, it's they might unlock it when you get to like a rank. So voice chat. Yeah, you, they unlock voice chat when you get to a certain rank. So they know that these people are serious about playing it. After your and placement it's not, matches. I mean, I don't know how. Uh, I don't like that at all. Like, 
I mean, it makes sense because like people that are actually serious will probably want to finish. Their, you think the their Switch their has like a little plug in it for a control for a headset? In the oh, bottom? it totally has. It, it totally. It totally. <laughs> What? You just switch it in. You, you, you unhook your, your, your left. No, 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 no. So the inside, the back of the Joy-Cons are like two things, and then you, you clip the headband in, and it just goes on here. And then you pick up the Pro Controller, and you, you turn the one to bring the volume up, you turn the other one to bring the game down. There has to be a fucking headphone port. There's the, a headphone there. port on the top of the... Yeah, that has the, to be a dual, like a dual port. Like right. have on a microphone. And well, well, this is not Apple. Needless the, to well, say, needless they, to they say, need to. Nintendo's not Apple. They need well, to listen to their community. We don't know they're not Apple. Because, I mean, they, they, look at... Are you kidding me with that walled garden? Are you kidding me? Like, what? Look, their online services suck. Like, they're, like, why? Why would they not just look... They need to listen to their community. They need to add voice chat. Know, and they need to keep the gyroscope in the Switch. Yeah. And we think Splatoon 2 can be I successful. Don't know, I don't sport. know how many pro players... Use gyro. Oh, they they all oh, the the pros Lucas, will use gyro. It's, it's so much. It's like a when mouse. Robert is top of the world Splatoon championships, and you're Stand. sitting in your basement in your boxers, watching him on a TV in his gold plated suit, and he's standing why up there. He, why is he on? Why is he no, like walking around? Like walking bird around, boot song. walking around with his gyroscope. And you're saying, God damn it, I wish I'd listened to Robert. What an or idiot was I, I. if I see that happening, why would I not just try Gyro and see if it works? Thank you for watching, everybody. Where games are hard. Here's what we think uh, about <laughs> Splatoon as an eSport for the Nintendo Switch. I'm Steven at Steven Riley on Twitter. S-T-P-H-A-N-R-I-L-L-Y. Lucas, where can people find you? Uh, at Iron View, dude. Don't like the me. online dating game. Robert, what's up? Nice. Are you, you want me to put my, my Twitter here? Yeah, do it. Okay. It's at Robert Durant. It's at Roberto Durante El Tigre on Twitter. No, it's not. It, no, it's, it's not. not. It's not. It's, it's Robert it's not. Durant 173. With an E on the T. No, it's not. It, it's, not. No, it's not. Thank you so much it's for watching. Not, it's not a dating sim, by the way. I can Bye. show you that. I can show you that.